Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays Oxygen Not Included. We have an amazing little bedroom area now. We are down to 6% stress total, which is pretty darn good. Food situation is fine right now. Is it amazing? No, I would not say so. But it is fine, and we are growing more food. Oxygen situation seems to be plentiful for the most part. We could use more oxygen generation maybe in here, but we have enough for us to breathe and live. So I think we're going to be okay in here. And we could always pump more oxygen in from over here, for example. In fact, that might be a good idea. It might be a good idea if we also get the gas valve. Because that way I can put I can put a air generator here, tell the valve to put it at about a thousand um, pressure in here, and just leave it at that. So we can see about doing that. The circuits are still overloading though. I haven't really natural gas. Where did that come from? Huh? I have no idea where that came from. But we do need to fix our power situation still and I'm still not entirely sure how this transformer helps with that it's running now well no it's not connected on one side so it's not running yet it should be running soon we have more piddle on the ground where is this coming from guys what are you doing why is there always piddle all over the place now we got infested water up in our regular water I don't know why I use the word infested. It's not like a zerg or anything, but are people just not getting to the bathroom in time or what? What's going on? We got bathrooms, people. We got them on both sides. They work very well. Please, feel free to use them whenever you feel like the need. The need for pee. Just do it. Okay, so this thing's running now. And everything is strained again. Oh! So the power went up, power went down, it's no longer strained. Okay, so this is helping somehow. I'm just not entirely sure how. Although it doesn't help that it appears that our batteries are completely drained. Huh, energy. Power stored, power produced, power consumed. So, well, actually, now that I think about it, we should probably deconstruct here, because this is probably, like, confusing the hell out of it. Deconstruct these wires. Once we do that, there we go. The power's coming in and out there. Okay. That might make more sense? Oh, no, it's going backwards, isn't it? Man! Okay. So I actually want this to go over here, like so. Deconstruct the... Thank you. Deconstruct this wire as is. Deconstruct these wires completely. Bring this over like that. And then this one goes over here. I think that will do it. Alright, that is... Okay, there we go. All right, that's getting done. These, of course, have no power, which is why they're underpowered currently, which includes our electrolyzer, but that's okay. Okay. One more. Come on. There we go. Uh, I mean, this is still showing strained. But the circuit status is okay. Over here, it looks fine. It's still saying overloaded in places, though, so it's not fine. Yeah, it's definitely not fine. Hmm. So the most of these can carry is 1,000 watts, but most of them are carrying more than that. So we need to find a way to limit these as well a bit. Because right now, these are all carrying around 240. Yeah. That's good. That's perfect. So we need another transformer for over here to be able to avoid more of these. So what maybe... Wow, we don't really have room for one, another one. That's the problem. So I'm thinking maybe put one down here. Get rid of this battery, maybe. Yeah, 
let's let's deconstruct this battery and we'll put a transformer down here and then this will just run down this way oh that's not gonna work because of the heavy watt wire hmm up here maybe yeah yeah th then we can keep this battery so transformer there we go put one up here like so so what's going to happen is the heavy watt wires this is our power generation area here so the heavy watt wires are going to go this way and you know what they can connect directly to this and then straight in here that will power that and then what we can do is just tear a hole here not, not here actually tear a hole here and then run the heavy wa wire down that way, and that will connect to this part of the grid, and then we can cut off most of this stuff, which is not going to be used. That should be able to regulate the entire grid, I think. Maybe. I, I'm not sure. Because, yeah, th the same amount of electricity is going through all of these other parts of the grid. So if I can kind of like, mitigate some of that, that would be a great thing. We'll see how that goes. We just wait till the wires start getting done and all that good stuff. And we... Oh, building lacks resources. Cooking station. Out of stuff to make more mush fry. That's okay, I think. Dude, with the piddle. Please. Is someone incontinent or something? Did I accidentally bring on someone who just, like, pees all over the place? And I just did not notice? Let's see. New friend. Can't dig it. Interior decorator. Binge eater. Dude! This needs to stop. <laughs> this is really bad. Oh, uh, gosh. Okay. Tile up like this. But we can't put a tile there. Shoot. Uh, frick. Yeah, we can't put a tile there at all because of the heavy watt wire. Oh, boy. Why does this keep happening? Who is doing that, man? Food is decayed. I get this. Flatulence. Bluff. Or buff. Not bluff. Uh, let's see. Can't dig it. Interior decorator. Binge eater. Sation. Vomiter. But you only do that when you're stressed. So you're not doing it all the time. Bottomless stomach. Quick learner. May, you're the new one. Can't dig it. Buff. Vomiter. Pepsi. Quick learner. Gastrophobia. Fear of kitchens and the culinary arts. It's not you. I don't know where all this is coming from. I just don't know. I guess I have to pay more attention and see what happens next time I see it somewhere on the map. Because I have no idea where all that's coming from. What is this? What is with this? This is weird. Building lacks resources. The cooking station, I get that. It's not a problem. Circuits overloading, I get that. That is a problem. Oh, we have uh, light circuits up here. We should fix that. Yeah, heavy watt wire to there. Because that's not really a big deal at all. Yeah, if we can use heavy watt wire, we should be using heavy watt wire. Basically anywhere we can. There we go. There we go. We're starting to get it built. Okay, this part's done. So now we do heavy watt hot heavy hot wire heavy watt wire coming down to here there we go it's ugly i know it is we don't like the look of heavy watt wires but we don't need it everywhere either we only need heavy watt i mean we only need decor in like places where we're going to sleep and things like that so we don't we really don't need it everywhere sweep this please by the way when we have a chance um in fact priority six sweep all the stuff in here just to make our bedroom look a little bit better. Because right now it looks like garbage. I mean, there's fertilizer everywhere. What the heck, guys? It's gross. Get it out of here. All right. Much better. Much better. How's our oxygen in here? Eight. Six. Maybe that's fine. Yeah, it's sufficient everywhere. We could sleep all right. Sleep fairly easily, in fact. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Two things lack resources. Coal generator is out. We are out of coal. 
So we need to dig up some coal. There's some coal. Alright. Dig that. We need to dig all that as well. In fact, priority six. The digging of the coal. And once we've done that, I actually don't know where we're going to get more coal from. And that's a problem. Because I haven't found another source of it yet. We've gone all the way up here. And we still haven't found another source of coal. Yeah, we just... It's not existing yet. There's more abyssalite up here. It's getting cold up there. So, I'm wondering what's going on. It's hot in a lot of these areas. Don't fart out slime at me, you little bastard. This is sand. Sandstone. Sedimentary, sedimentary rock, not sedimentary. Okay. Let's ladder up some more. And we'll go like that, and we'll head towards all of this stuff. Do a uh, triple there. That should do it. All right. Circuits are still overloading, but that's because we have not been able to build what we need to build yet. May is at 14 stress, but she's the highest, and that's not bad at all. Okay. Our room, our big old bedroom of amazing is almost clean. Next duplicate, 0.3 cycles. We're almost there. And we might be ready to bring on someone else. In fact, I think we probably are. We could disable this building as well, apparently. I did not know that. Hmm. That's a good thing to know, actually. I didn't know you, you could straight up disable it. Yeah, this room is looking a lot better already. Fantastic. Insufficient oxygen generation. We will see how that looks by the time the night is done, and we will go from there. There's polluted dirt here, emitting polluted oxygen. Can we please sweep this up? And do something with it. I would appreciate that very much. That's a lot of sandstone that needs to get hauled. That is a whole lot of it. Okay. This is still doing nothing. I mean, it will be doing something eventually, but right now it's not doing squat for us. I believe all the stuff over here on this side is now well regulated thanks to the power transformer. So again, if we can do that on both sides, we should be in a relatively good position. We did get more coal. Looks like part of that got mined out with no problem. Who we have... Oh, we are actually pretty low on food now. 19,000. Narcoleptic, irritable bowel. Flatulence, can't dig it. I mean, I don't like any of these traits either. So we're going to reject you guys for now. See ya. Sorry for the, you know, way things go. Why do we have no seed here? No, 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 no. You dig one of these suckers up, and you put a seed here. This is like priority seven. This is where our seeds must go. And we have an excellent yield here as well, but still. Why do we have so much polluted oxygen going on down here? It's because we let all of that food go to waste. Polluted dirt, meal lice, I don't know. But a lot of this is turning stale. We can't let our food turn stale. That's really ridiculous. Come on, boys. And then put a one in here if you have a chance. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Excellent yield on that one. Good. And, you know, when we get a chance, we'll put more seeds in there. Uh, what is... Actually, could we put a bristle blossom seed in here? Or a bristle berry seed, I should say. Temperature is about 59. What is the temperature that it wants? Nah, way lower than that. Okay. Basically around freezing. So not going to happen anytime soon. Everyone's going to bed. Let's see what the report says. For the last day, we did lose a little bit of oxygen. Uh, actually, 7 kilograms is quite a bit. Uh, we all, But we are still kind of in the positive for food. And our stress is still pretty low. That said, we've definitely got problems. Cooking station has no power. That's a problem. I mean, we have quite a few problems. <laughs> Mainly with power. Yeah, I think we're going to need at least one more wheel. So let's go with another manual generator. It's not something I'm proud to build, but it's something I got to build. We'll power it, of course. I mean, there is a little bit of natural gas, but we don't have the materials for it yet. Don't really want to do power switches or anything. Then Atmo switch. Based on ambient gas pressure? Interesting. Hydro switch. That, those are interesting, huh? I guess you could put them... 
I guess you could put them like in a place where you want water or gas to be pumped to. And then when it hits a certain pressure, it flips a switch to turn off the pumps. That makes sense. That, that, that actually makes sense, yeah. I don't know why I was so confused by that at the beginning. But yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense when you use your brain meats to think about it for a minute. Alright. Do we have any more coal anywhere? We don't seem to. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Please don't tell me this is ever going to go get knocked through. I mean, I feel like it's possible. Well, that's just oxygen, not water, so I guess we'll be okay. Alright, we're still getting overloaded circuits. Our food seems to be going lower instead of higher, which is scaring the ever-loving heck out of me. But we are making lice loaf, which is good. Very good. Alright. Where are we going? What, what are we doing? We're repairing stuff. Oh, no, we're building heavy watt wires. Okay, that's good. Come up here. Boom. One more. One. You need this corner. We need this corner and then three more. And we might be done with our electric problems. Maybe. Okay. That's very good. Food has decayed. I hate that. I hate that so much. I think we need more deliverers. Because I feel like that's one of the main things. And everyone does it, too, as a job. I just feel like things are not getting delivered at the rate that they should be. May, I didn't even do your freaking stuff here. What don't you do and what don't you like? You can't dig. But that's it? Okay. Hmm. And you're good at tinkering. You're good at compost. You're good at repair. Okay. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's have you do not power. Although I kind of want you to train in athletics. So do power. Don't do research. Don't do anything you're at a zero at. Don't do combat. But yes on all of the mop, sweep, harvest, and build stuff. And deliver. Please deliver. Oh my god, we need people to deliver. We've made oxygen. Big time. We are still on a positive... We are on a positive on calories... But you wouldn't know it looking up here. So that kind of confuses me. Restroom out of order. And it brought me to a duplicate. I, what? <laughs> this restroom? Okay, that's the one I thought. But I was like, why did you take me over to where a duplicate was? I'm confused. Alright, our water situation is bearable, I, I would say. I do kind of want to... Is that fresh water over here? A steam geyser. What does that do? What the, no, no, I want to know what the steam geyser does. What's all this then? Rising pressure. Does it just make water? I really want to find out. That is a lot of freaking gold, by the way. I really want to find out what this does. So I tell you what. Oh, I'm kind of afraid to find out what it does, too. We can jump over here. So I'm thinking, go do this. And then we could do this, and boom, we're into the steam geyser. I'm not going to rush it right now. This needs to get done. This this is the last one. Oh, he's, he's not done it. Silvermane, please. Silvermane, please. No. He's delivering at like crazy, though. So, And that's something I want done. I want delivering done, so how mad can I be? How mad can I be? Okay. Please, get that one done. It'll be so good. Probably. Maybe. Oh, by the way, did we get all this sweeped up? We did. Oh, it's so good. Like, there is going to be... Stress is going to drop like a rock while they're sleeping. Okay, we got this done. Good, good, good. So now... Excuse me, circuit status 4 kilowatts going through here. That's going to destroy our freaking... Oh, no, no. It's because I haven't cut it off. I got it. I got you. I got you. Okay. So I need to... Wait. Pause this. Pause this. <laughs> Before I confuse myself. I need to cut this wire. I think that's literally the only wire I have to cut. Also, we need to make that like a, an 8 priority. Cut this wire, please. And I think that will do it. Someone cut this wire. Guys! The wire! Okay. Yeah. 
that that did it. Now we're 240 down here. That's so much better. Why are we like so high over here though? Over here we're looking at no, it says 240. We should be fine. Why are we still... Okay, the overloaded signal has gone. We've done it. We've regulated our power. Oh my god. Life's good. It's freaking 90 degrees where these things are right now. Oh yeah, these things, you can see little things around them. They are pumping out heat like crazy. But we've done it. Well, if we ever want to be somewhere where it's hot, we know where to go. Right here. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh my god, that's amazing. Power problems are no more. Should we restart research? I think this is the time. I think this is the time. We're going to go with pressure management for now. Which will not lead to anything, but it will give us like the switches and the valves and the mechanized airlock. So let's do that. We're going to enable our research buildings and let people get to research. Food shortage scares the hell out of me. Needless to say... That's scary. <laughs> Let's get priorities going here. Okay, so power is priority six. Food is priority six. This is not so much priority six. But power and food are top priorities. In fact, that should always be true. But instead, we have a bunch of food that's going to waste down here. It's making me sad. Got a bunch of sleeping going on. Frost over here, sleeping... By himself, because he sleeps very loudly. But he's surrounded by amazing sculptures and artwork. So, you know, he has a 80 decor living space. So he's pretty fine. Okay. So people should be running. We should have some people as well who are... Who do run. And... Or who cook, but don't run. So, Sation, you cook. Who else cooks? Sation, myself, and Frost. You know what? Sharkwalker, you're good enough to cook as well. But we need some of these people to not run. So, Station Your Athletics is 16. Pepsi, you're 17. 21. Nine, oh, my God. We need to use this to train people. d right you can run now. You mostly do art anyway. And Silvermane, you can run now. All right. So, we have plenty of people who should be able to do... The soggy feet. Come on, people. Who should be able to crank out food. All right, with the electricity, come on now. Guys, is it? We're it's because we're out of coal. We are like permanently out of coal right now. Oh, we need more batteries then. So, okay. I mean, we definitely need more more batteries. Like we're not even generating enough power right now, though. Okay, we need more manual generators as well. We'll make three more. Heavy wat them up. Like so. Priority six everything here. Uh, don't priority six the paintings, though. Because that doesn't make sense in my face. Okay. Oh, boy. We can't make food if we don't have electricity to make food with. So, wrong element damage? Excuse me? What's happening? Are we accidentally pumping something incorrect in there? what it keeps saying. What's going on? Oh, this is pump... Okay, because this keeps pumping in oxygen as well. Oh. Okay. Yeah, now you have oxygen and stuff. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. No, good. It's good. I'm happy that this is a thing that happened. Alright. So... I guess go in here... And then we deconstruct all the gas pipings here now. Because we gotta. <laughs> oh, boy. This is a mess. And it's a mess we're going to starve over if things don't get fixed soon. We have, like, meal lice down here. But we have we're not making any food. Okay. More generators. Set these to six. There we go. Alright. Good, good, good. One more watt right here. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything for us. 
Okay, we have another person running. So these are connected to this as part of the grid. Ugh, wow, all the power right now is just going to these? We have no... Okay, now the batteries are starting to get some charge. Very, very... Slowly? Please tell me you're getting charge. Okay, green means they should be collecting some charge. Yeah, I think. Power stored. Nine kilojoules. Okay. That's that's a start. That is a start. We're going to have a lot of people running on hamster wheels for a while. Until we get a more effective form of power. Which I'm starting to think means we need to turn the freaking computers back off. <laughs> Duplicants. Oh, that's funny. No. Not even gonna not even gonna entertain that idea right now. I mean, I do want research to get done, but we also need more power badly. We need to dig. I think that's about it. We just need to dig more. We need to research we need to not research, but search. We need to explore. We need to find coal. We need to find resources we can use. This battery is, like, full, so this stuff down here is fine. Yeah, everything down here is actually pow- Oh, our coal generator isn't powering any of this. I get it now. That's bad. I mean, it's idle right now anyway, because it's out of coal, but... Yeah, all of this is technically on a separate part of the grid now. Oh, boy. That's, that's a tricky thing. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, we can make food. So I guess that's good. But this is... Now we're in kind of like a circle of hell. Where we're just trying to make food all day. And that's all we can do. Yeah, that... that this is a special kind of hell. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So how do we reduce power consumption? That's our next step. Well, for one, maybe we don't need this for right now. Turn this off. There you go. Because, yeah, with that just being off for now, all of this can generate its own power, I think. Yeah. So this will just get power from the battery for now. Because the battery has plenty of power. And I think that disconnects it from the rest of this. Which means this, these should be able to charge up with no problem. Okay. Okay. So until this battery is completely empty, which is going to happen eventually, we don't have to worry. We don't have anything to worry about here. In fact, we should use the time to build more batteries. So, research complete. That's great. Uh, yeah. Right here. And we're just going to fill this area with batteries. Batteries, batteries, batteries. Okay, so with pressure management done, we can make valves, which we don't need right this second. I'm going to go ahead and actually turn these back off for now. Just to save power. I don't know if it actually takes power when it's not running, but just to be safe. Okay, we are making food again. Circuits overloaded. You say what? Oh, we don't need these circuits. So yeah, deconstruct the circuits we don't need. Wires. Get out of here. Uh, these we could still technically use. Kind of. Also, this needs to be replaced with heavy watt. Yeah, we could still use that those areas, to be honest. Mm, they are running a lot through the circuits here. So we're, we're still going to see some overloaded in this area. If we don't do something about it soon. So we might have to run heavy watts over here. I mean we could run a, we could run a transformer over here. Or we could run this down here up, I suppose. Technically. Yeah, but we're gonna see some damage at this rate. Mm. Yeah, let's run. Let's go with running this up. So Give me some electrical wire. I could use regular electrical here, but I'm going to do the heavy watt. Just run it up here, and then regular electrical over to here. For now, these are going to be depowered, so let's watts. Let's see it. Just 
get rid of all uh okay get rid of it from here on forward there we go for the light that has to stay but yeah that can that should be able to power the whole thing with no problem batteries are charging we're gonna have more batteries eventually and they are going to be connected of course via heavy watt wire there you go uh, we do not... There's some more places where we don't need any of the weak wire anymore. We don't need it here. Uh, we do still need it up here, shamefully, for the batteries. Uh, but we shouldn't. So, you know what? Can I go... We cannot go through there. So, we might as well just take this down. Yeah, we need this to be heavy watt wire zone. It all needs to be heavy watt wire zone. Why do five buildings lack resources? Algae terrariums lack resources. Are we out of algae? I mean, that's kind of ridiculous, but are we? Yeah, out of algae. Okay. Well, then. I guess we need to harvest some algae. That's actually not too hard. There's algae all over the place. In this world, we just need to dig it up. Literally all over the place. So, yeah, there's algae. or the slime over here, but there's also algae. There's some algae over here. In certain places. This is all algae. Let's just get all that open. You know, all we have to do is get it. Batteries are getting done. That's good. All right, this is open now, so we're going to go ahead and heavy watt like so. There we go. Do it like that. We're still looking at a possible food shortage, but we have enough where nobody's going to be starving, and I think we'll be able to keep the electricity going for a while. All right, the grid's not connected yet, but we're getting close. Once these three are on the grid, I think we'll have enough power to actually keep everything going for quite a while based on the amount of power we can store all right this is all connected yes so why does the power keep going out why am i keep hearing that let's not hear that anymore please and this is all connected as well and there's enough to power it all without overpowering anything it looks like 490 is good 490 is great and up here, we are generating one point something watts all the time, which, of course, runs through this transformer down here. These no longer have power, so we need to turn this transformer back on. Which is going to draw a lot of power from right here, of course. Right now, it's drawing 1.5. Now, it's drawing, like, four? Wow. Yeah, the power drains like crazy during the night from these what's actually running here the liquid pump is the big thing which actually does mean um oxygen generation is going down but uh want to use a toilet that's out of order use the other toilet dude we have plenty of oxygen over here uh no it's getting low because the algae terrarium is not working anymore right 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 so plumbing we got some new valves i know uh that was supposed to be the end of this episode so i am going to end it here in a bit but First, I am going to go ahead and throw in a gas pump here to take the oxygen and move it over. But first, I need a, not a pipe bridge, I need a valve. I'm going to need a filter and a valve, so that's not going to work. So, we're going to need a pump for the oxygen. There's very good oxygen concentrations down here, so pump here. It is going to go to a filter, which is going to be right here. Uh, let's see. I believe the filtered out one is in the middle. I need to switch this around. There we go. There's the in. And then we're going to need a valve over here. I believe increases or decreases the volume in pipes to maintain an ideal pressure. Well, that's the. I want the other one, right? Not the vent. The filter... Is it the filter? No, it's not the filter. Oh, yeah, I think it is the valve that I want. Yeah, because I want ideal pressure in here. So, I guess it goes in here? Goes in the top one and out the bottom one? It's the metal pipe equivalent of kinking a garden hose. Interesting. I think that will do it. And then, of course, we have to... Comes out here. Goes up here because that looks better boom and then 
from here. One of them just goes out. One of them goes into the room. I believe the yellow one... I'll check up here. What the heck. Yellow one is the one that gets filtered out. Good. Yellow one goes up here. Ooh, don't, not like that. There we go. <laughs> like that. And goes in there. And then this one comes out. Oh, I should have put that at the bottom. Okay. Cancel all that. Valve goes here. Like that. Pipe goes like so. And then this one goes up here. Like so. And boom, we have a gas vent there. Okay. And that will work. Oh, the other one, of course, will just come out like... I don't even care. Everything else... I guess this is going to be pumping out not oxygen. Everything else can just come out right there. Because I don't care too much. Okay. There. And that's all hopefully going to get done next time on that place. Oxygen not included. This episode has been wild and crazy, but we made it. We survived. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you are enjoying the series, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. And if you have not already, please subscribe for more. And please do let me know in the comment section what I could do better for this series. Because it's starting to break down again. I want to make it to cycle 100. I think I'm going to do that. If I do make it to cycle 100, I am going to consider this at least a kind of success. But it's getting a little dicey right now, but we will see. Thank you again for watching this episode of Thet Plays. Oxygen not included. I'm Thet, and I will see you in the next video.